Hello and welcome to another episode of uh, OSA Television. Today we're going to be doing another installation of our segment, What is a Fish? So when you go to uh, the marine section of our store, you know, you see a lot of stuff that you, you probably don't even see in a public aquarium. So it can be very difficult and kind of daunting to decide, you know, what you're going to spend your money on and what's going to go in your tank. And you want to maximize your chance of success. So um, this segment is for us to kind of chop up all the different types of fish by family and then try and go through them so people have a better idea of what they're getting, have a better chance of success, and have a better time with the hobby. Today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite families of fish of all time, and it's the Saganidae. So the Saganids are also known as the rabbit fish. So these guys are extremely popular in aquariums and they're extremely popular um, as an aquaculture uh, species worldwide. Behind me, uh, it's kind of hard to see, um, but there's a spotted rabbit fish. Rabbit fish are uh, really, really cool because they're marine herbivores. They have evolved to live on the outskirts and in and amongst coral reefs, and they are constant grazers of algae. They love macroalgae, they love microalgae, they'll even peck at uh, fouling organisms that are housing algae and bacteria. These guys are just ravenous little sea chickens going through and pecking and foraging all day long. And that's because uh, they have a really weird gastrointestinal system. Unlike, uh, let's say, a grouper that has a big cardiac stomach for digesting a big meaty food item and then processing that, these guys don't really have much of a cardiac stomach at all. So instead, they have a very long intestinal system. So they're designed to take in constant low quality prey items such as seaweeds and algae, things that are very different than fish tissue, and they just process them all day long. Now that has a couple of cool effects. One, these guys are extremely important on the reef because they keep it clean and they keep the corals clean of macroalgae and pest algae, which is kind of what they do uh, in tanks as well. They act as a, a big cleanup crew for pecking off this XX algae. And then when they eat and forage enough of this algae, they store it in their tissues and then that causes some novel things. One is that they have uh, a diverse array of venoms. So uh, the rabbit fish and all sagonids are united because uh, their dorsal fin has a series of hollow spines that can deliver venom. So when handling these fish, transporting them, or even feeding them if you have a big school of fish and maybe the rabbit fish is gonna get startled, it's very important to avoid that dorsal spine because uh, you know if you get stuck with it, it's not necessarily gonna kill you, unless you're allergic, but uh, it will send you um, into fits of uh, screaming pain. And that's best to avoid in the aquarium industry. So rabbit fish, these guys are absolutely great. So I mentioned that they are aquacultured. Uh, in the Philippines, I actually saw farms of these guys. Uh, it's amazing that uh, such a beautiful fish is being bred to be bigger and meatier, and I have eaten them, and they, they are quite delicious, I have to say. That is um, a little bittersweet. I mean, it's good for the, the Filipino rabbit fish industry, but at the same time, it gives new hope for the ornamental industry and the reef industry here because if we're able to farm these rabbit fish at a big enough scale to eat them, we'll certainly be able to farm them at a big enough scale to provide a sustainable supply for the reef industry. So Saganids and rabbit fish, are, in particular, are moving in a direction towards sustainable aquaculture. They love uh, foraging on seaweed. I, I highly recommend giving them lots of, of dried seaweed, nori, uh, Hikari seaweed extreme products, Hikari's frozen megamarine algae, uh, trying to diversify uh, as much of that uh, uh, vegetative forage as possible is the best way to have success with these guys. So rabbit fish, foragers of macroalgae, spiky and venomous are along the edges, cleanup crew for the reef, and not bad with a side of rice.